Hey there, today we are going to talk about Banksy, whose identity is still unknown. He made a name for himself with strong anti-establishment messages delivered through dark and humorous imagery. Increasingly popular and increasingly serious, Banksy has brought street art into the gallery space, delivering the art form to a new audience. It's widely known that Banksy is outspoken on many social issues, including gang violence, homelessness, state surveillance, and war. Some common themes he has are smiley faces. They evoke happiness, simplicity, and innocence, a recurring theme in many of Banksy's works, but the cheerful face also appears in complete contrast with heavy armor and guns used in some other pieces, and it is used to disarm and unsettle the viewer. Rats are another common theme that can be interpreted as a symbol for the regenerative nature of street art. And lastly, monkeys, which are the perfect way for him to communicate his scathing satires of humanity, oftentimes foreboding, warning of a future that looks different than today. In Throwing Flowers, Banksy combines street fighting passion and pacifist enthusiasm in his protester, whose Molotov cocktail morphs into a bouquet. Girl with a Balloon has become a symbol of innocence and hope. He's reminding the viewer to hold on to hope even when it feels out of reach. Swing Girl is a great example of how Banksy incorporates his work into the urban scene within the existing landscape. Stained Glass is an example of the power of mass collaboration and creativity. He enlisted the help of a school in Los Angeles, asking the students to scrawl their unique tags, designs, and messages on a series of panels Civilian Drone Strike is a pointed criticism of the human cost of weapons of war. The work was displayed for a week at an arms fair convention being held in the British capital. Bomb Love or Bomb Hugger is one of Banksy's most prominent anti-war works. It explores the contrast of love and war, seeing the fragility and innocence and contrast of violence. In Kids on Guns, we see childlike innocence while the guns beneath represent the violence and suffering caused by war. The image could be read in two ways, both as a hopeful piece suggesting humanity can come together to overcome violence, but also a pessimistic commentary on the devastating effect that war and conflict can have on society. In Sale Ends Today, he makes a biting comment on contemporary consumerism, and in Slave Labor, the piece was widely interpreted to be a critique of child labor, believed to have a part in producing many of the cheap items sold in discount shops. In Napoleon on a Horse, it's a statement against the French government. A red cape blows back over the rider covering their face, suggesting perhaps the country's leadership is blind. It is estimated that Banksy has raised over 40 million for charity. He may be the best, the best selling contemporary artist of all time, but Banksy's work has, from the beginning, sought to serve a social purpose. The irony that his anti-establishment art commands huge prices isn't lost on him. He is quoted as saying, I love the way capitalism finds a place, even for its enemies. In the CND Soldiers, the re-release of this print raised over 100,000 for Ukraine's largest children's hospital. British designer Gerald Holtam designed the peace symbol as the logo for the campaign for nuclear disarmament in 1958, although it is now seen as a universal symbol for peace. Banksy's CND soldiers implied that United Kingdom soldiers should not be fighting in the Iraq War. Love is in the Bin was sold for $860,000 at a Sotheby's auction in 2018. The original piece was Girl with the Balloon. The crowd was shocked when a shredder built within the frame activated as soon as the sale was complete, partially shredding the piece. It was supposed to shred all of it, and it didn't work as designed. Banksy's work has long been in tension with the art world poking fun at its astronomical prices and exclusivity. It was an unforgettable moment in the art world and the first time that a work of art had actually been created during an auction. It was sold again in October of 2021 for over $18.5 million. There is a link in the notes to that video of the shredding. In Game Changer, done in 2020, it sold for over $16.8 million in March of 21 exactly one year to the day of the UK's first national lockdown due to COVID. Proceeds were used to support the well-being of the National Health Service University Southampton Hospital staff and patients. Banksy shipped his work to the hospital along with a note that read, Thanks for all you're doing. I hope this brightens the place up a bit. And lastly, we're going to talk about the boat, the Louis Michel. Banksy financed a boat to rescue refugees attempting to reach Europe from North Africa. Banksy's involvement in the rescue mission goes back to September of 2019, 
when he sent an email to Pia Clip, the former captain of several boats that rescued thousands. Hello, Pia, he said. I've read about your story in the papers, he wrote. I'm an artist from the UK and I've made some work about the migrant crisis. Obviously, I can't keep the money. Could you use it to buy a new boat or something? Please let me know. Well then, Banksy. The project at its heart is meant to bring together a variety of struggles for social justice. So that's a little bit about Banksy. I'm glad you came along with me.